This is the uh, Hell Teller Reader CWR 6700. Uh, uh, it was sold in the uh, late 70s, during the late 70s, maybe early 80s. It was the uh, competitor for the Tono Theta 350. You might know that one. Um, this, uh, like I said, was produced by Hell. It is a uh, multi-mode uh, data receiver, and multi-mode, of course, meant different different things then than it does now. Uh, just to show you what uh, what it can do right now, it is receiving a, a, a Baudo FSK, and um, that. You can see here we're at 45.5 baht, that's what hams use. It can also do 50, 57, 75, 110 and 300 baht. We selected 45 like I said. Uh, the modes that it can do is Baudot uh, and ASCII. We're now at Baudot. 5 bit code, ASCII is 7 bit. Uh, the tone pairs we can do is 170 hertz shift, 425 or 850. 170 is uh, used by hams, uh, 425 and 850 is what uh, is used by uh, military and professional users. Um, the unit can also do CW, right now we have it at RTTY. Uh, there is the possibility uh, uh, to reset the whole unit. You can hook up a printer and print uh, the page that you just uh, received. Um, this is the uh, automatic unshift on space. That means that in Baudo, when a space is received, you go back to the uh, character mode, not the number mode. Uh, reversed and uh, normal, that reverses the sense of the FSK signal. Right now I have the uh, radio in uh, upper sideband, which is actually not what I should have done. I should have kept it in lower sideband, that's what's used for uh, RTTY by hands, so therefore I had to press the reverse button here. Um, this is a, a case, and this is page 1 and 2. If you scroll out of one page, it goes to uh, a, a second page. So you have two display pages in the memory, and right now we're on the active page. Uh, the unit has a mark and space filter. Uh, you can fine tune that if a station is not exactly at 170 Hz. You can fine tune that here. This is the uh, volume for the monitor loudspeaker. As you can see, that has no uh, impact on the actual uh, reception. That's purely uh, for monitoring the signal uh, from the speaker, the built in speaker that is here on the side. It's uh, really a collector's item. I mean, uh, it is, uh, of course, old, but it was built very well. Hell, uh, the Hell units I thought was better than the Tonos. And uh, this particular one is like unbelievably nice. It's like it just came out of the box. And uh, I don't think whoever owned it used it a lot. But here we are, uh, 30, 35 years later. And this uh, unit is still doing the job, so. It is a collector's item, and uh, as such you need to look at it. The nice thing is it works perfect. Uh, the output uh, is uh, into a 75 ohm video monitor. The uh, monitor I use here is just uh, an old monitor that I bought for a dollar at, uh, at a flea market. They come from these uh, 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 security monitors. Um, and that plugs in from this unit to that unit through a 75 ohm cable, actually music 50, 50 right now that works as well. I think the unit also has an RF modulator, if you have an old TV you can also look at the signal through the RF uh, uh, modulator to channel 3 or 4, I don't know, I haven't used that, I haven't tested that, but there is a uh, RF modulator inside I noticed, so uh, I guess you could use that too. That's basically it. The uh, Hell CWR67670, uh, uh, 670, a vintage 
uh, uh, RTTI FSK uh, CW receiver it's uh, completely digital and it still works thank you for, uh, for watching the video